<laughs> uh, hey, Ben, are you ready to film the uh, Super Coup Club? Yeah, I am. I'm just sorry. I was just reading this funny book. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're so silly. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, this episode is supposed to be all about teamwork. So I'm wondering if we should bring the pigeons into the video. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's right. get somebody in. Who are let's we going to bring that. in first? Let's do that. Oh, now there's some more squares. Who we got first? Oh, got it's, first? it's Rock. Hi, Rock. How are you hey. going? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not being a master of disguise, Rock. Otherwise, we would not have been able to recognize you. <laughs> Uh, who's next? Uh, who's Frillback. Ah, uh, Frillbo. Looking, looking strong. strong yeah. Uh, who's next? Um, um, we've got coming in. Oh, it's Tumblr. Hi, Tumblr. Hey. I love you, Tumblr. <laughs> All right. There's one more square, but I can't seem to bring oh. it up. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Let me try one more thing. It should be Homie. I'm not sure where he is. Homie. Homie, homie Pigeon. Ah, where are you? Uh, there he is. Is he asleep? <laughs> he's asleep. He's eaten that bread and he's fallen asleep. <sighs> Classic Typical homie. homie. Yeah. <laughs> the important thing is that we're all together for this episode about teamwork. So let's do it. Let's get super cool. Hello and welcome to the Super Coup Club! Hi everybody! Uh, in today's episode we're going to talk about the power of teamwork. And we've got a Real Pigeons quiz that we're going to be taking and you are invited to play along. And later on we'll be doing a challenge to create our very own crime fighting squad. Yeah! Ooh. Thank you for joining <laughs> us, we're going to have so much fun. Let's kick it off with news and coups! Woo! The latest news from the Super Coup Club is that Ben and I have been working together as a team on the next Real Pigeons book. Ben, should we reveal the title now? Ah, oh, definitely. I think we have to tell everyone what the next book is called. Let's do that. <laughs> All right. If you don't already know, drum roll, please. <laughs> Here it is. Wow. That's right. Real Pigeons get ready. Yay! Uh, and they are ready for a whole lot of adventure in this new book. I can't wait for it to be finished so that all of you can read it. Uh, ben, how are the illustrations going? Um, they're coming along really well. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm about halfway through drawing the roughs at the moment. Yeah, I'm having fun. I'm laughing a lot. <laughs> That's always a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Ben and I love working on these books together. Us being a team makes the books what they are. Uh, just like the, the way that the real pigeons are a team, um, kind of makes them unique in the world of bird adventurers. Yeah, I, I like that we never know how they're going to solve a crime. Um, they've all got really different pigeon powers and they all use those skills um, in different ways. Um, I love when they all have to um, work together, though, to solve something in... Um, Nest hard when they have to go into the bakery to oh. um, to spy on Jungle Crow and Megaba Megabat. And the only way to get in is to pretend to be another bird. And they all like um, <laughs> smoosh together. I don't <laughs> Smoosh together and bend and contort. And they become yeah. um, an owl. An owl. And it looks so funny. Um, what's the owl's uh, name again? <laughs> Well, homie, homie panics when Jungle Crow asks him what their name is, and he says, Al, not a pigeon. Not a pigeon. And Jungle Crow is like, oh, Al, like Alan, Alan, not a pigeon. Weird name, but okay. <laughs> um, and the funny thing about it is that when I wrote this scene, I remember giving it to you and saying, now, Ben, I'm not sure if it's possible to do this, but can we combine all the real pigeons and yeah. turn them into an owl character? Yeah, and <laughs> I was like, totally, that's not hard at all. And it, um... <laughs> And it wasn't actually too hard to draw them all um, smushed together as, a, um, as, an, as an owl. I s immediately knew what it would look like in my head, so no trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's a great example of um, the teamwork that's at the core of the Real Pigeons books. Um, because yeah. like you said, all the pigeons are so different. All their pigeon powers are different. Yeah. Uh, if they were all masters of disguise, the stories would be a lot blander than they are. Yeah. Um, and it's a little bit like you and I, like we have a similar sense of humour um, but we have really different skills and that's yeah. what makes the, the books um, so fun to work on. Yeah, and I like the fact that um, throughout the whole process of the, uh, creating the story and writing and illustrating, you and I are always talking. I think that's um, a really important aspect of working together. It's, you know, talking about ideas and working out things that work and things that don't work 
and just trying to make it the funniest book they can be. But every team, of course, needs to have a leader to bring them all together, and in the Real Pigeons case, that leader is Grand Powder. And Ben, you're gonna show us how to draw our great Real Pigeons leader. Yeah, let's go draw him now! Woohoo! Okay, so today we're going to draw Grand Powder Pigeon, the leader of the Real Pigeon squad. Um, there he is, looking great. What we need to do first is draw Grand Powder's eyes. Two big circles like that, and join it with a little hill like that. Now, Grand Powder has one different eye and some wrinkles under both of the eyes because he's a little bit older than the other pigeons. Little jelly bean and a big smiley beak like that. Okay, the next thing we need to draw is his crop. Here it is, nice and big. Nice. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to draw him a little bit different from the activity sheet. We're going to go down like this, Ta -da! and then we're going to give him two legs like that and join them together. So he's got two little bits like that. And here are his legs. One, two, three, four. He's got four toes. His wings. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. What else do we need? We need a tail. We blonk, just like that. One more thing. Grand Powder doesn't go anywhere without this. What does he need, Andrew? <laughs> I need something to help him get around. Yeah, he needs his walking stick. Um, I might put it, maybe he can be holding it here. And then I would color that in with the brown, like that. There we go. There's Grand Powder with his walking stick. Ta-da! Hooray! Good job! <laughs> Let's see who has a fan question for us today. Hi, my name's Noah, and I was wondering why did you choose Rock as the main character? I love you, Rock! Bye! <laughs> Thank you for that very energetic question, Noah. Uh, I chose Rock Pigeon at the very outset because I wanted a character who could fit into lots of different environments. And because Rock is a master of disguise, he can be a rabbit or a chip packet or whatever he wants to and investigate lots of different things. So it made him a really flexible character. That's why he's our main character. Hi, my name's Rupert. Why did you make Frillback strong? Hi, Rupert. Thanks for the question. Uh, why did I make Frillback strong? Well, I wanted to have a strong member of the Real Pigeon squad to lift heavy things and check for clues underneath trucks um, and do things like that. But I also love that she's the most beautiful pigeon in the in the crew. Um, she's, you know, always looking after her feathers, um, but also like working on her super strength. She's kind of beautiful and strong, and you can have a character that is both of those things. And Frillback is a really good example of that kind of a character. Hi, my name is Lee Ryan, and I'm seven years old, and I love reading the pigeon books. And how do you write the pigeon books? And what's your favourite pigeon character? Thank you. Thanks for the questions, Levi. Uh, when I write the real pigeon stories, uh, and when I'm beginning to write them, I'll just write the ideas down on a scrap of paper and think about them a whole lot. And then eventually I'll go and write up a Word document and try drafting it out. And I usually do many, many drafts of each real pigeon story. That's how I write them. My favourite real pigeons character is, of course, Tumblr Pigeon. Um, I've said it before she's my favorite she's so fun to draw and i love that she's always really happy and optimistic hey ben let's have some fun now i reckon we should do a real pigeons quiz and challenge oh. each other with real pigeons questions awesome that sounds like a lot of fun let's do that and you can play along at home yes. shout out if you know the answers before we do see if you can beat the real pigeons creators <laughs> at their own quiz um, the oh. questions are all on the Real Pigeons website as yeah. well if you want to have a look there and play along at home in your own time. But right right now, let's get to it. Yeah. Give me your first Real Pigeons question, Ben. Okay. In Real Pigeons Fight Crime, Mega Bat and Jungle Crow are being chased by Frillback and Rock at the food truck fair. What delicious food does Jungle Crow hide inside? What? He hides inside burgers. Ah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was too fast, I know, but I knew it straight away. <laughs> All right, here's a question for you. Okay. Why are bins good places for pigeon meetings? Because that's a good place to hide because he, no one else goes in rubbish bins. 
Yes, that's the answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and next question. Um, in Real Pigeons Eat Danger, where does Strawneck the Ibis live? Pretty sure this is another bin related question, isn't it? She lives in a dumpster, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, down an alleyway. There we go. <laughs> what animal would Rock Pigeon be turning himself into if he gathered up a scrunched up piece of paper, an old shoelace, and a long pink sock? Oh, I know. Uh, Struthio the ostrich. Yes, he would be. Yeah. And he'd be picking his head out around corners. Ding, 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 ding. In Real Pigeon's Nest Hard, what does Beardy Vulture like to eat? Mmm, this is one of my favourite parts of this book. He loves to eat bones! Yeah! Crunch, 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 crunch! What, in, what is Homie's full name? <laughs> I have no idea! <laughs> <laughs> what is his full name? Um, it's in Real Pigeon's Nest Hard. What? It's in this book. I don't know! Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, his full name, uh, as his mother reveals to everybody, is Homestead Butterworth. Ah, oh, I was never going to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see if you can get me this time. Okay, okay. Um, in Real Pigeon Splashback, what pigeon power does Barb Pigeon teach Rock? Is this the disgusting one? Yes. <laughs> the power of pigeon pooping. <laughs> That's a good poop face. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What invention does Strawneck come up with to stop trees from disappearing in real pigeons' peg punches? Mm. Um, this is a really great invention, and I had a lot of fun drawing it. It's tree anchors. She um, finds some yeah anchors and some rope, and creates um, an anchor that will be tied up to a tree so that no one can steal them. In real pigeons. Peck Punches, what is the name of Birdie Bird Bird's cat? Ah, yes, Birdie Bird Bird's cat likes to be clean, and mm. so we called that cat Shampoo. Yeah, Shampoo. I think that question was Yay. a bit easy. <laughs> uh, okay, last question. In Real okay. Pigeons Splashback, there by the beach, there is a little town by the ocean okay. called Chipopolis. What is the population... Yes. Of Chipopolis. How many people are living there? It's on a sign in the background. Um, that's hard. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> 1,098? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty close. Remember. The answer is, there's a sign and it says, Population, 2,984 people who really like <sighs> chips. Ah, oh, well there you go. That was yeah. a hard question. That was <laughs> I'm cruel yeah. sometimes. <laughs> okay, today on the Real Pigeons Challenge, we're doing a drawing challenge. We have to draw a squad, a team of animals. Andrew, what animal are we picking? Uh, how about an animal that's a little bit like pigeons? They're under the ground, though, usually, um, but people don't like them much either. Rats. Okay, so rats, here they are. There's their eyes. Um, one can have big teeth like that. One can have x-ray vision. So there's, there's the x-ray coming out of his eye. And one can have, what's the other superpower? What's the other rat power we need, Andrew? Uh, what about the uh, power of bad rat breath? <laughs> rat breath, rat <laughs> breath, stinky rat breath. Okay, there we are, there's the blow flies. Okay, we've got our three rats. What will their names be, Andrew? Uh, what about we call them the Red Rats because they, rats. they maybe they like mark themselves with tomato sauce. Ooh, Brave tomato style. sauce rats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so that means I have to colour them in. So um, here we go. They're going to be bright red. Okay, here we go. Red rats. Red rats. I love the red rats. The next thing we need to do is we need to figure out where these uh, red rats have their headquarters. Andrew, do you have an idea? Uh, well, it makes the most sense that they would live in an awesome piece of cheese, doesn't it? Oh, yeah! Awesome. Okay. Cool. So it'll be um, a really big bit uh, of stinky, um, stinky, rotting, um, moldy cheese. Ah, oh, P.U. There we go, there's lots of stinky lines and more blowflies. 
It's going to be yellow, but it's also going to have blue dots on it. Ugh, uh, mold. It's moldy and green dots. There we go. So there's their headquarters. It's a moldy bit of stinky cheese. Here's our team, Red Rats, and they've all got a different um, rat power. Um, what a great squad. Yeah. Thank you for helping me, Andrew. If you at home would like to come up with your own squad of um, villains or super characters, uh, just think about that. Make them an animal, give them some powers, think about how they might work together as a team, uh, and give them a headquarters. It's as easy as that. So good luck coming up with your own squads. Well, that is the final episode of the Super Coup Club for now. Ben and I have more videos coming at some future date. And we want to thank you at home most of all, because without you, we'd be just be talking to the internet, um, <laughs> screaming into a void. Uh, so thank you for coming on this crazy pigeon journey with us. It's so good to have you along for the ride or for the, the flight. Uh, ben and I um, need to get back to work because there are more real pigeon books coming. Yes. We need to get back to drawing and back to writing. So thank you for watching the Super Coup Club with us. We'll see you again shortly. But until then, stay cool and bye everyone. Bye. bye.